What's up everybody, my name is Mike Perea and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to shoot the Milky Way in 5 minutes. The first thing you need is a tripod because your shutter speed is going to be longer than what you can hold and if you don't have a tripod your pictures are going to turn out blurry. First piece of gear. Your second piece of gear is a DSLR or mirrorless camera with a wide angle lens. Now when I'm out in the field I'm going to be shooting with a full frame camera. But if you're shooting with the crop sensor this is important to know. Whatever focal length that says on your camera that you're shooting, you wanna times that by 1.5 to get the actual focal length. When you determine your shutter speed, you're gonna use the focal length as part of the formula. So you're gonna to wanna to know that if you are shooting a crop sensor camera, before you do the math to determine your shutter speed, you're gonna to wanna to times your focal length by 1.5. The next thing you want to know is where. Where do you shoot the Milky Way? In the United States, there we have a, an app called the Dark Sight Finder. You want to go on there and find out the dark skies closest to where you're located. Now the best time to see the core of the Milky Way in the northern hemisphere is in the summertime, from April till about November. You want a moonless clear night and you want to be facing south, southeast, or later in the summer you want to be facing southwest to get the best shot of the Milky Way on a clear night. Now since I decided to limit myself on time, we're going to have to teleport over to the field, so let's go. Alright, so we made it out here and the first thing we want to do is see where the Milky Way is going to come up and when. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our Photo Pills app, go under the Moon Pill, and it's going to show you here Wednesday night, which is tonight, at 8.57 the Moon set. At 10.02 is the first sight of the Milky Way, that's when it's going to be visible, the Galactic Center, 10.02 p.m. You can see that right there. Then you're going to go back out and go under Night AR, and that's the augmented reality. So what you do is you hold it up in the sky like this, and just move your fingers around, and you can see when the Milky Way rises, where it's going to rise, so you can kind of see and get your composition set up before you even get out at night. So it shows right here that right around, right around 11:11, it's going to break the horizon over here above these mountains. But what I want to do is wait until it's almost vertical, which is going to be right at about 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. the Milky Way is going to be directly over that uh, mountain back here in the background and that's where I want to get my composition so that's when I know uh, the Milky Way is going to be right where I want it to be. If you go back to the moon pill where it shows um, this is the perfect conditions. We got bright blue skies, uh, we got a waxing crescent moon which is at like 3.3 percent so this is actually going to be perfect. The moon's going to set at nine o'clock an hour about five hours before we're even going to take a picture so we're going to have completely dark skies you're going to have a little bit of light pollution from Sedona right there but that's going to be it and so now all we're doing is we're going to wait so when the Milky Way comes out we're going to be ready and then we're going to talk about settings. Alright guys welcome back so the first thing we want to talk about is how to get your focus in, at night there's two ways to do it now you can well there's probably more than that but the two ways that I use is you can either in the daytime focus on something as far away as possible put your uh, piece of gaffer's tape on the focus ring so that it won't move that way you have your focus set you don't have to worry about it the second is to actually zoom in on your on the back of your screen so you focus on the brightest star zoom all the way in and then adjust your focus on the back of the screen here get that dot as small as possible now once you've done that let's talk about settings now i'm obviously at the widest angle as possible what you want to do is you take your aperture. Aperture, open it up as much as it'll go. If it's 2.8, open it all the way up to 2.8. If it's 3.5, open it all the way up to 3.5. Very simple. Now your shutter speed, you use what's called the 500 rule. You take 500 and divide it by your focal length. So I'm just shooting at 15 millimeters. If you want to do 500 divided by 15, it's going to be about 30 seconds. The reason why you want to do that is because anything longer than that, you're going to get what's called star trails. That's due to the movement of the, the stars. You want to keep those stars as sharp as possible, so keep it under 30 seconds. Now, I'm shooting a higher megapixel camera, so that's actually going to be different. The 500 rule doesn't work, but for any kind of crop sensor, anything like 24 megapixels, that, the 500 rule will be just fine. So if you're at 24 millimeters, then you're going to want to use uh, about 20 seconds. So figure out your shutter speed, set that. The last thing you're going to set is your ISO. What I like to start out with is 2000. Shoot that, take a picture, see what that looks like. You may have to adjust the ISO up or down, but keep those other two settings exactly the same. Very simple, you got your Milky Way. That's all you got to do. From there, you can experiment a little bit. Take a flashlight out, go stand out there, put the flashlight up in the air, 
Do just do some cool stuff, experiment with lighting, what's called light painting. So paint the light, paint the landscape around you with the flashlight. See if you can light up the trees, light up whatever it is that's in front of you. Kind of uh, give some composition to your shot. So that's it guys, pretty simple. So I'm gonna sit around, I'm gonna do some more shots here. I'm gonna give you guys a Milky Way time lapse. And uh, yeah, do some experimenting. I'm gonna show you guys the shots right now. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one.